Hello, my name is Mr. Mayhew. I'm the head of history at Ormiston Victory Academy, and I'm just going to explain to you what pupils at Ormiston Victory Academy will be doing this half term in their history lessons. So pupils will be carrying out six assessments in history this term. These are going to be assessing a variety of different topics that we've studied, as well as covering a range of different types of questions that usually would come up in exams. What these are going to allow us to do is get the best possible understanding of what grade that pupils should be awarded at the end of this when they're given their centre assessed grades. So what are we going to be looking at? The first three assessments, which we've obviously already started, will be looking at Germany, which is the most recent of the units that we've studied. And those will be carried out in the weeks beginning of the 12th of the 4th, 19th of the 4th and 26th of the 4th. Obviously, these are already underway and I'll be talking about how pupils can revise for these in a little while. The second set of assessments will look at crime and punishment, which are the fourth and fifth assessments, and they will be carried out on the week beginning the 3rd of May and then the 10th of May. And the final assessment we'll carry out will be looking at the unit Henry VIII and his ministers, and that will be in the week beginning the 17th of May. So as you can see, it's all very clearly mapped out what pupils will be doing and when. Now, in terms of what they will be doing, the format will be very clear to them already. The first lesson, each, each week we have three lessons, and the first of those lessons, pupils will be taught, or I should say really retaught the topic, that we will be being assessed that week. It's something we've already covered. It's not something completely fresh to them. It's something that they've already covered previously in their time in GCSE history. So the first lesson is a recap going over this, and pupils will be taking down notes, looking at what they've already done. The second lesson of three will guide through pupils through how to successfully answer a specific type of question, i.e., for instance, it could be a causation question. But what that means is we will not be telling them the exact question they will be answering, but rather the type of question. So most of the questions in GCSE history have a kind of stem. So it might say, <coughs> pardon me, um, what does source A suggest about dot, dot, dot? It's always the same kind of format. So we're preparing them for those type of questions that they'll be answering. And then, as you can probably guess, the third lesson in a week will be carrying out the actual assessment. Usually within the second lesson, there'll also be some time for some individual revision for pupils to carry out. Lessons one and two as well, will each time will be recorded on a Loom video like this. And these are being shared with pupils. So we've encourage pupils perhaps the night before an assessment or if they just want to simply go over what we've already covered just to sort of check their understanding they can watch those videos to help them. So what can you do to help at home? This is a key question a lot of parents will have. First of all what you can always do is discuss with your child what they've covered that week in their history lessons. Now this one might sound quite a simple one but it can be one of the most effective. Getting pupils to retell what they've learned will make them really think about what they know and actually help them because if they then realise they don't know it, that will tell them they definitely need to go back and revise over it again. Telling it in your own words really helps your brain to process it and try and um, think about carefully what you've done. Um, as I've said already, the loom recordings of the lessons are being shared with pupils and I would encourage you all to to get your pupils to watch these as part of their revision and in preparation for the assessments. And finally, you can prepare revision flashcards, notes, etc., using the revision guides that all pupils have been given. And the revision guides look like this. They've each been given one of these. Uh, it's a photocopy. And what we've done is we've taken from our existing revision guides the pages relevant to the topics we're going to be doing. And teachers will be telling pupils what we will be doing in our next week's assessments. So, for instance, you might look through and you might go through to the Nazi Germany section. And the first question we answer, answered was to look at the establishment of a police state, which included then looking at the Reichstag Fire and Enabling Act, Hitler becoming Fuhrer, and then obviously there's a page saying how he creates the police state. So those were the areas that pupils looked at. There is obviously other stuff you can look at as well, but this is your basic um, basic amount of uh, information we want you to use. If you want anything else, you can always ask your teacher for a little bit of extra po uh, pointers to help you see if there's anything else you can go over. But that's basically the main overview of what we're doing. We're making sure that we are providing pupils with the best possible support to make sure they can succeed in these assessments that we're carrying out. And we're making them feel as comfortable with them as possible. I know it's difficult. I know it's, it's a, an unnerving time. But if you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.